Yo, what's good? This is Mastermind MMA, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, Bellator London Musasi versus Rafael Lovato Jr. or Rafael Lovato, whatever. Um, but yeah, man. So I'm just gonna get right into it, break it down, talk about the card a little bit. Uh, shout out Bellator, they're my guys over there. I fuck with Bellator heavy now. You know, I always, I always fucked with them. Now I'm like a, a super fuck with them. So shout out everyone at Bellator. Shout out my guy Scott Coker. And uh, yeah, let, let's start talking about it. All right, Rafael Lovato Jr. Uh, this this fight was supposed to happen a couple of months ago. A month like uh, Gegard got hurt. Uh, Lovato Jr. is a jiu jitsu wizard. Um, one of the first Americans to to, to win many things and uh, many ju prestigious jiu-jitsu competitions. But breaking it down, um, Lovato's going to want to get it to the ground and exercise his 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 um, his leverage on the ground. But the thing is, we've seen with Neiman Gracie, you don't know if he's going to stand out stand out there and and show his overall expression as a rounded out mixed martial artist and display what he has striking uh Gegard's way too decorated of a striker to even play that with and in on the floor Gegard is kind of like oh almost like I would not only like a Rory McDonald type but I would I, I would even parallel him to like a, a Jorge Masvidal type where he's super good on the feet super good striking and he's really good on the ground but like He's super, super high level on the ground, but he's on, like, next level, super high level shit defensively. And um, I feel like, I feel like Gegard is, is, is well versed enough to stay, in, like, like, kind of like how Rory did. I, I would really parallel it to the Rory versus Neiman fight. I really think that's how it's going to play out, honestly. I think it's going to be very similar to the Rory versus Neiman fight, and I feel like Gegard's going to get the win. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if Lovato gets the upset and gets the su gets the submission or even catches him. I'm honestly not surprised about like that. And I honestly haven't really like sat with this fight enough to really get into a gut feeling prediction. But just overall, just kind of kind of vaguely, just topical. What I think about it is, I feel like I feel like Gegard, Gegard, Gegard's gonna get it and he's gonna get the win. He might finish it, but honestly, I'd say it looked very similar to the Rory McDonald versus Neiman Gracie fight. So yeah, I mean, honestly, it could go a bunch of ways. But just just really thinking about it off the top, and and from when I saw it at first, and just revisiting it really quick, that's exactly what I think it's gonna be. And um, now, next on the card, you got Melvin Manhoof versus Kent Kapanen. Uh, Manhoof always brings it. Good, good kickboxer. Extremely, extremely good kickboxer. Uh, Aaron Chalmers versus Fred Freeman. You got Paul Daly versus Eric Silva. Um, Paul Daly, I feel like his stock took a hit against the Dale, uh, MVP fight because he was talking all this shit about people like holding him down and humping his legs. And that's the exact game he, he went to play with MVP when we both know on the feet they're extremely dynamic strikers. And we wanted to see those extremely dynamic striking styles colli uh, collide and clash. But uh, yeah, Paul didn't give that to the fans. And the way the build to it. All the out like when he when he lost to whoever uh, when I think it was Rory or whatever I can't even remember uh, he he went and like confronted uh, what's his face in the crowd MVP and all that and um, MVP's been staying MVP although he lost to Lima like he was showing a lot of promise and before he got caught so I feel like this is more of a redemptive fight for Paul Daly you can't play it safe he has to get uh, uh, he has to increase his stock and have it be a fan friendly fight with a highlight real knockout. James Gallagher versus Jeremiah La Jeremiah Labiano. Uh, Gallagher's bounced back in the dub column since he got knocked out by my guy Ricky Bandejas. But um, yeah, so they're still putting the promotional push behind him. Uh, they don't give up on their young stars after a loss. Uh, Bellator is very supportive like that and growing. And although people may criticize their uh, their the path they send them on, they're very supportive of them on that on that journey. And um, yeah, a bunch of other people on that card. And yeah, man, it should be a great night of fights. I I'm gonna be traveling to my other house, so I don't know. I I hope I can watch it live, and I hope I, I get it by the main card and stuff like that. But if I don't, uh, I'll be reacting to it later. If if I do get to watch it and I do get it like bust out a quick live reaction video, I'm definitely gonna do that. But if not, I'm just gonna talk about it next week. And, um, or maybe even the next day over the weekend. And, um, I was going to do a video on it, but I'm not really going to, I'll just have it at the end of this video. Um, you have, 
uh, Moicano versus Korean Zombie should be a good fight. But I feel like, um, you know, Moicano is good, a, a good striker. Uh, he got he, he got subbed a couple times on, on, on he got subbed by Ortega on the ground. Though I know he I, I think he subbed Cub, if I remember right, or Cub subbed him. I can't remember exactly right now off the top of my head. But Moicano versus Korean Zombie should be a good fight. Moicano's coming off a loss to Aldo fairly recently. So yeah, man. Let's see. Uh I don't know who else is on card. Um my, I feel like Korean Zombie's gonna win that one's gonna be a good fight. I don't really care enough to like make an in depth uh tactical prediction on it. But yeah, so yeah, I did a video talking about Paulie and Bare Knuckle. We got this this weekend too. I'm pretty sure I got to double check, but I'm like 99.99 percent certain that is this weekend. And I did a video on that. I got a bunch of videos out. Look out for my live reactions after the fact. I'm gonna be very busy this weekend, so I'm not gonna be able to live stream during the event. But if I have time, I'm gonna make time to watch it live. And if I have time during that period. I'm going to I'm going to do an immediate live reaction to what what I thought on all the fights that went down this weekend so be on the lookout for that. If not and if you don't see anything from me this weekend, then I will be back Monday and I'll be doing dropping more videos. Appreciate you guys watching this shit. Don't forget to I don't say it shit enough, I have to. Don't forget to like and subscribe, leave comments on and know what you guys think. Want to get discussions going and uh fuck with you guys. You already know that and you already know it's mastermind MMA.